Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to prepare an interesting recipe from Japanese cuisine, chicken katsu curry. It's my absolute favorite. I'm going to tweak the recipe a little bit to give it an Indian touch. I hope you all will like it. Let's get started. Let's start with breading the chicken first. I'm going to pat dry the chicken breast with a paper towel. Next, I'm going to place the chicken in between a cling film and then I'm going to just pound it with the rolling pin to get an even thickness. This will help the chicken to get cooked uniformly. Instead of the chicken breast, we can also use diced boneless chicken and if so, we can skip this step. And then I'm taking half a cup of all purpose flour in a plate and I'm seasoning it with half a teaspoon of pepper powder. Then goes in half teaspoon of salt and I'm gonna just mix it thoroughly. After that, I'm beating an egg to prepare an egg wash. In another plate, I have taken half a cup of breadcrumbs. This will be available in all supermarkets or we can get it from Amazon. Now you can see the chicken has even thickness. Then coat the chicken with flour. Make sure it's well coated everywhere. And then dust off the excess flour like this. Next, I'm gonna coat the chicken with the egg wash. Finally, the chicken goes into the breadcrumbs and let's coat the chicken well on both sides. That's it. Let's keep it aside for some time. Next, I'm starting off with chopping the onions into small cubes. And then a medium sized carrot into 1 cm thick pieces. After that, I am slicing 4 to 5 white mushrooms. Finally, I am finely mincing 4 to 5 large cloves of garlic. That's it. Next, I am keeping a saucepan on the stove and I am adding 2 teaspoons of olive oil. Once the oil is hot, I am adding in the minced garlic, unsort it for 30 seconds until the raw smell goes off. Then I am adding the chopped onion and let it cook for 2 minutes in high flame. When the onion is cooked through, I am going to add the cut vegetables and mix it. Then I'm adding half teaspoon of salt to the veggies. Next I'm adding the masalas. First 2 teaspoon of coriander powder. Then 1 teaspoon of chili powder. Finally 3 quarter worth of garam masala. And then just mix everything. Next, I'm gonna add one and a half glasses of water, and then just mix it. Then, I'm adding another teaspoon of salt, and I'm going to let it cook for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 minutes, when the veggies are all cooked, I'm mixing little water to two teaspoon of all-purpose flour to make a paste. And then I am adding it to our curry. This will make the curry to thicken up a little bit. On the side, I am cooking rice in a pressure cooker. For this recipe, the rice needs to be mushy. So make sure to add extra water. To shallow fry our chicken, I am going to add half a cup of oil into a frying pan. When the oil heated up, I am going to add the chicken into it. At once, you can see all the bubbles and hear the sizzling sound. So we have to cook the chicken on one side until the bubbles settle down. Then turn the chicken carefully and let it cook on the other side until the bubbles settle down. You can see the nice golden color formed on the chicken. And finally to our curry add half teaspoon of sugar 
and one teaspoon of soy sauce and mix it we can switch off the stove after 10 minutes next comes our salad this dish is always served with salad so i'm dressing cucumber tomatoes avocado and some salad leaves with one teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil some crushed pepper and a pinch of salt last thing to do is to filter excess oil from our chicken and i'm going to slice it into 1 cm thick pieces you can see how crispy it's on the outside and how juicy on the inside now we can see how to serve this first i have kept a small bowl of rice then i'm keeping the sliced chicken on the side and after that i'm pouring a generous amount of curry sauce on top of the chicken Finally, some salad leaves on the side. That's it. Our recipe is ready. This will not come under healthy food option, but it's okay to treat ourselves once in a while. Please try this at home and leave your comments below. To watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to click the bell icon. I will see you all in the next video. Until then, bye.